Hello everyone, my name is Cecilia and today I want to share with you a little painting tutorial. So if you're new to this channel, please hit the subscribe button below if you want to see more painting tutorials, mainly in oils. I'm currently working on a commissioned piece. It is a night scene with a pegasus, some rocks and cliffs with the ocean and there are also going to be some clouds and stars and a full moon and this is what I want to show you now. Basically you can paint the moon in any color you like. It can be a purple one, a blue one, a yellow one, white one, whatever you like. But what I would suggest is that the basic tone of the sky is the basic tone of the shadow parts of the moon because in this way the moon is much more integrated in the whole painting. I always do an acrylic underpainting first because in this way I can quickly define the colors, the light and shadow parts and the shape of the object. This allows me to work much more efficiently because acrylics dry a lot faster than oils and so I can go on immediately with oils. And this underpainting doesn't have to be accurate at all. It is really just a raw structure which I adjust more and more as I continue painting. And I would suggest that you first search for a photograph and look at it in order to know how the moon even looks like in details. Then I paint the first layer of oils and I start with pure white, in this case zinc white, and I only paint the areas that are the brightest ones of the moon. And now I fill out the rest, which is basically just the shadow part of the moon. And I would now really focus on the color tone you want to have. It doesn't need to be the final one, of course you can still paint over it, but I would make an effort to match it as much as possible. And as I said, I would suggest to use a similar tone as the sky for the shadow part of the moon. I mixed ultramarine blue, ivory black, zinc white and a little bit of cadmium red. But for me this color mixture is way too dark, so I have to brighten it with white. You need a lot of white relative to the other colors. I begin with the darkest part and work my way forward to the middle tones and add a little bit of white. And as I'm painting the shadow parts, I also blend it slightly with the light part in order to create a smooth color transition. Now I would also pay more attention to the shape of the craters, because the more detailed you get, the more realistic it looks. I always start with a raw structure and then the more layers I paint, the more detailed I get. So with every layer, I pay much more attention to the individual parts of the moon. So with the second layer, I highlight the brightest parts even more with pure white and paint the edge more white because the moon will look more shiny if the edge is bright. But you have to look that there is at the left side still a difference between the shadow part and the light part. And yeah, now it's just all about details. I kinda isolate every area like first I look at the left side of the moon, the upper part and the lower one, then the middle and so on. And I look at every single area very very precisely. I notice every stroke, every change of color, every dark and highlight spot and paint that. It takes some work and patience but I think it is really really worth it. Mm -hmm. 
And of course you need a smaller brush for the details. I also really focus on the color transition within the crater. I like to blend the colors because I think it's prettier and looks more realistic. And this is really an advantage when you paint with oils because you can blend so easily. I really like that. And I concentrate on the edges of the craters as well. I think the more you blend them, the more they are integrated in the moon itself. But I differentiate there as well. So if you want a crater more edgy, you choose a darker tone. And if you want to have a smoother appearance, you choose a lighter tone and blend more. I kind of make everything brighter again because it seems to me that I painted the craters too dark but I also look where are the darkest spots and paint them afterwards with a darker tone. And if you look closer to the bright part at the lower right hand side of the moon, you see that there are some slight color differences, which I paint as well. So I just mix white with a tiny little bit of the shadow color and paint that pattern and try to blend it as well. And the final step is basically creating a shine effect around the moon. And you do that by simply whitening the sky color. Of course, the more white you add, the brighter it gets. It is really up to you how you want that to look like. And then you paint that around the moon and blend it with the regular sky color. And then you just clean the edges if it is necessary. So that's it guys, thank you so much for watching, I really hope you liked the tutorial. If so, give it a thumbs up and comment down below what you want to see next. I'm looking forward to hearing from you and seeing you in my next video.